Benelli makes some great shotguns, but today I have five reasons why you shouldn't buy one. George here with the New Hunters Guide, the YouTube channel, and check out that podcast, helping new hunters get started and bringing new insights to all hunters. Today I wanna to talk about five reasons why you should not buy a Benelli. But before I say another word, I need to let you guys know this is not a video bashing Benelli's. I don't have a bad thing to say about Benelli's. In fact, I think they make some great shotguns. If you already have one, keep it. If you're thinking about buying one, you probably should. But you need to consider these five things first before before you do that. Number one reason why you should not buy a Benelli, you are a new hunter. This is not just to prevent the stereotypical meme of a noob walking through the woods with an expensive shotgun and no idea what to do, couldn't care less about that. The issue is this, if you've never hunted before, you don't even know if you're gonna keep hunting. Or maybe you've hunted something else but you're breaking into something new, you don't even know if you like it yet. Why spend all that money on a nice new high-end shotgun? My mantra that I tell people all the time is the best shotgun for you to start hunting with is the one you already have, can easily and legally borrow, or can buy used cheap because you don't know if you're gonna like it and you don't know if you're gonna keep doing it. But the even bigger reason is this. Until you have gotten some experience, you don't know what kind of habitat you hunt in. You don't know what your hunting style is. You don't know what features that you like and value. You just don't know what kind of shotgun would even complement you or be good for you. And there's lots of different Benelli's out there. How would you even know which one to get? Everyone's gotta have a Super Black Eagle 3. And while that might be the best shotgun for some people, Benelli makes lots of other ones. So how would you know until you have personal experience hunting what you hunt, where you hunt, when you hunt, to know what would be the best fit for you? Number two reason why you should not buy a Benelli. For you, it would be a treasure and not a tool. This is a big deal, guys. If you're gonna be hunting, and I mean seriously hunting, your shotgun has to be a tool. It cannot be a treasure, all right? If you're gonna lose sleep over every scratch, if you're gonna wig out every time it gets dirty or wet, or if you're gonna lose your mind because you got some rust on it, you should probably not be walking through the woods with a Benelli. And this depends on where you are in your own life in your own finances right now today. If you're saving up $20 a month for 10 years to get the Benelli that you want, that's probably not the right shotgun for you if you're a serious hunter. Now, if you just want a gun because you like it and it's nice and you're gonna go trap shooting or hunt doves once a year, something that is low wear and tear, that's fine, I don't care what you use. But if you're gonna be going through the woods and you're gonna be putting wear and tear on a shotgun and it's gonna break you up on the inside for that to happen to your shiny new Benelli, then now is probably not the right time for you to get a Benelli. Maybe down the road a few years, your finances or your situation changes might be a good fit then, but right now maybe you're better off getting that Maverick 88 from Walmart. Something cheap, something that'll work, something that you can carry as a tool that you are not going to lose sleep over the wear and tear that it's going to get because it will get wear and tear like any shotgun you're duck hunting you're turkey hunting you're small game hunting you spend a lot of time in the field you are going to have wear and tear and so you need a shotgun that for you right now is going to be a tool and not a treasure number three reason you should not buy a benelli is you do not have adequate hearing protection 86 percent of hunters don't use hearing protection, which means 86% of hunters are going death every season. Some little by little, some lot by lot. Many people, they don't even notice a difference or they tell themselves that there's no difference year after year, season after season, until one day they come to an epiphany, they can't hear their kid or they can't hear their grandkid or something else and they realize, oh man, I've got a serious problem. What am I going to do? They come to that realization. Other people, they see to have nothing happen shot after shot season after season until that one trigger pull and then from that day forward they hear ringing in this ear for the rest of their life or they permanently lose 70 percent of their hearing in this ear for the rest of their life i hear it happen all of the time 
all right? Hearing protection is absolutely critical. I don't care if you're hunting turkeys and you're just shooting one, two, three times a year. It matters. Year after year, magnum shells, ported choke tubes, you're hunting with other people. Sometimes it's just a matter of somebody else and their, their muzzles pointing just slightly more in your direction than they're used to. Maybe it's still a safe and ethical shot, but you catch a little bit more of that muzzle blast, a little bit more of that report. Maybe they've got a ported choke tube on for the first time and it just hits you louder and at a different angle and instantaneously your life has changed. 50 years ago you didn't have a lot of options. You could wear earplugs and ruin your hunt or you could save your hunt and ruin your hearing. But today there's a lot of really good stuff out there guys. There are cheap entry level things that anybody can get that will still preserve some of the sound of the hunt. They can give you some of that joy back but there is top end stuff out there. Tetra Hearing makes what I think is probably the best hearing technology on the planet that I have yet seen or encountered. You put these things in your ears and you can hear just as well as you could without them. They use high-end hearing aid level technology and they can give you all of the sound that you had without them the moment you put them in your ears. You take a hearing test before you order them. Maybe in this ear you're down 20%. Well, they raise you right back up. Maybe this year you're down a lot more and they raise you right back up. So you put these things on and you walk into the woods and you can hear way better than you could before you put them on. But what they do even more than that is then every time you pull that trigger, they turn that Magnum shotgun report into something that sounds more like a BB gun. Instantaneous hearing protection. And what they do that's even more exciting than that, they have a patented proprietary audio algorithm that you can set your devices to whatever you're hunting and they will then amplify the sound of the game that you're pursuing. You're going in after ducks, you just tap it to get to the duck setting and all of a sudden it amplifies the sounds of duck whistles, quacks, dabbling and splashing in the water, even ducks flapping their wings as they get in closer. You can hear the birds from further away than you could even if you had perfect hearing. You're hunting turkeys, deer, elk, predators, whatever the case may be. They will isolate the sounds of that game and amplify those sounds while then muffling other sounds that you don't want to hear like wind. Or if you're hunting ducks, you don't want to hear every squirrel that's walking around the forest floor. They do some amazing stuff. Of course, they're not cheap, but if you've got Benelli money, you should upgrade your hearing first. I tell this to people all of the time. If you're ready to upgrade your shotgun, upgrade your hearing protection first. Get a set of Tetras and start protecting your hearing right now. That Benelli can wait another season or two. All right, these things will do more to up your game and preserve your hearing for the rest of your life. And no, this video is not sponsored by Tetra. I've got some of the Tetra Custom Shields right here that I bought with my own money that I could have spent on a Benelli. All right, so these things, guys, absolutely game-changing. I've done a full review on them. I'll link to it at the end of this video. Number four reason why you should not buy a Benelli is you are still using inferior ammo. If you go out into the woods with steel shot and you have Benelli money, you will take more game by upgrading your shot. They make some great bismuth options these days. Boss, Winchester, Kent, all make great loads, and there's more than that. They make some good tungsten steel blend loads that are out there like the heavy 12s and some other ones all right you will do more you will bring home more animals you'll put more food on your table by investing in better ammo than you will a better shotgun now there's exceptions that if you're using a single shot 410 okay maybe getting a Benelli 12 or 20 gauge is gonna do more for you than better ammo but most people are shooting a shotgun that's at least semi adequate to the task and in those situations better ammo will do more than a Benelli. All right, upgrade your ammo first and then get a better high-end shotgun second. And if you want to take even more game, then you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel and get more videos of information, kicking the tires on assumptions, real reviews, field tests, things that are going to help you improve your hunting in the woods. You should at least hit the thumbs up button and help this video reach more people. Number five reason that you should not buy a Benelli is if you are not a good shot.
yet. All right, now nobody raises their hand and say, oh, that's me, that's me, I'm not a good shot. Everybody thinks they're a great shot for some reason. But what is your ratio of shells fired to animals brought home? If you're shooting ducks, how many shells do you shoot to bring home X number of ducks? Next time you go out in the woods, take a box of 25 shells, okay? When you come home, how many ducks do you have versus how many missing shells do you have? From what I have seen, the average hunter, average Average is about 30% success rate. All right, for 30% of the shells that they fire, they bring home an animal. All right, what if you were to up that percentage? Whatever you are, maybe you're 15%, maybe you're 45%. What if you up that by 10%? How many more animals is that gonna bring home? What if you upped it by 20% or 30%? A Benelli is not gonna do that. A Benelli may give you some advantage, some improvement in your percentage, but it it will do nothing compared to practice. And what I have found to be the absolute best practice out there is sporting clays. All right, trap is good, shooting skeet is good, but sporting clays, you go to a place where you've got 20 positions, you're shooting 100 birds in a day, they're coming at you from every angle, side, distance, velocity, altitude, unpredictable, you don't know what's gonna happen next. Nothing prepares you for hunting in the woods better than that. You would be better off taking that Benelli money and go do a sporting clays course once a month in the off season for the next year or two and then save up that money and go ahead and get that Benelli. That practice will do more to up your game and bring home more animals than anything else you can spend money on period. Get out there and practice. Now this video is not sponsored by anybody. It is certainly not sponsored by Benelli. And YouTube advertisers are often not very generous to Second Amendment friendly channels. So I would invite you to go ahead and click the link in the video description down below and consider supporting this channel on Patreon and help make all the different kinds of videos that we do possible. Like this one right here where I ballistics gel and pattern tested steel shot versus bismuth. Or this one right here I did a full review on the Tetra Alpha Shields. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.